Hi Twin Flames and welcome back to Tarot For You 444. We've got someone saying hello today. <laughs> Remember Larry? Larry is Harry's best friend and Harry, Harry is uh, meditating right now. He's trying to attract his twin flame because Larry has been in his divine masculine energy and just today <laughs> so cool Sally came in which is his divine feminine <laughs> and look look at this they're in union <laughs> except Larry <laughs> Larry needs a new hairstyle because sometimes Sally sneezes from the <laughs> from the hair okay so Sally's a bear and um, Larry obviously is a troll and we've yet to find pants for him so if anyone's got any ideas on where we could get these size pants from <laughs> I'm sure Larry would love it and Sally Sally won't stop cuddling him <laughs> Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are not new <laughs> and you've been supporting me for a while. Thank you so much. Feel free to like, subscribe, share or comment. And today I'm guided to do a Secrets of Divine Masculine because there are so many signs coming in. There are so many signs coming in at the moment. And Divine Feminine, I can feel that the Divine Feminine Collective really wants to um, get serious, <laughs> really serious about what's going on with him. So I want to maybe, I don't know, I might joke around a little bit during the reading, but I'll try, I'll try and be very serious so we can get to the bottom of this. And so I can obviously tap into spirit and what they want to say. Alrighty, so I'll just show you that I'm shuffling. I shuffled off camera as well. That's my cue to begin. Okay. I just want to show you that I do shuffle. And oh, wow. Okay, so we've got a massive story coming through. Oh, wow. Okay. So just bear with me as I organize this. Okay. My readings won't always be the same because I go with my intuition and as I'm guided. And um, just quickly, these cool glasses you can get on Amazon or eBay for around between $10 and $20. And they help with the glare on the screen. I know I've said this a few times, but you know, they stop you from getting headaches and it's just so wonderful. And in fact, I was gardening today and I was outside wearing them gardening and they were they were even good for the sunlight. So how good's that? So I just wanted to tell you that anyway. Sally's really excited to be here. Um, she she had been waiting for Larry to come in, you know, she, for her union for about five years. So she says it was far too long and she didn't want to wait that long and Larry said he just manifested her yesterday <laughs> so he came into his high vibrational state and he he hang on I can't quite hear what he's saying <laughs> oh wow okay he said that he was so high vibrational that he saw her in a dream and uh, about seven days beforehand he saw her and obviously they've got cultural <laughs> cultural differences or um i don't know what would we call that it's not cultural it would be <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know what their babies would look like but <laughs> you know we might have bears with purple hair anyway let me be serious now i'll get serious and get into the reading all right, so this video is Secrets of Divine Masculine. What you may not know, 
about your divine masculine is that there are new beginnings and success coming his way perhaps a new job opportunity or perhaps something different than than he usually might do in his role or career all right so he's heading into a totally new direction and these particular cards are kind of my secret deck all right so sometimes what's written on the card is what's coming through intuitively but sometimes i get other guidance and so you know i might be talking and what's written on the card isn't even isn't even mentioned or isn't appropriate okay so just know that i'm an intuitive reader okay and i channel as well so if you're looking at the card and going hang on a minute that's not that's not what she's saying i haven't i haven't gone crazy <laughs> I'm just letting you know. All right, so there's new opportunities coming to him with regard to work. And I'm very guided to the angel here holding on to him. There's angels around your divine masculine at the moment, helping him, guiding him, helping him to open up his heart chakra because it was blocked in the recent past. Okay, so we also have the three of cups people places and situations coming in and blocking the connection between divine feminine and divine masculine this isn't really a secret but it is something that is bothering divine masculine because sometimes he wants to come in and he can't and he feels blocked not only on a physical level but on an energetic level okay or even we could even go on to say a te telepathic level okay so let's see what the secrets are okay we've got a whole heap to get through here so your divine masculine perhaps has been in the past or is married okay he's coming up as the king of pentacles which means that he's very good in a business sense if you didn't know this he's very very intelligent very smart with his business okay he may own his own business or he may just be very intelligent regarding business okay he could have dark hair and he could also have some kind of wealth that you don't know about as in property or land or a um, inheritance of some kind and that won't resonate for all all divine masculines um, but that's what's coming through right now okay so what you may not know is that for a long time he's been able to channel messages from spirit he's highly intuitive this collective that i'm tapping into is highly intuitive and for some of them they speak to god or buddha or allah or whoever they believe in on a regular basis okay and this is where they go for solace when they feel like the world is coming undone around them this is where they go the next thing that they may not have shared with you is that they feel like there's some sort of injustice here they feel like there is an injustice here and this is regarding the twin flame journey all right they feel as though there's this blocking energy here they've wanted to come in more for divine feminine but haven't been able to and this will be for different reasons okay so divine feminines coming up here as someone who's very loving and caring honest and devoted she may have fair hair, blue or green eyes, or I'm also getting dark brown hair, but you know, obviously that's not gonna resonate with all of the divine feminine. Um, <clears throat> this is someone very honest and devoted, someone who can share a gift of wisdom and is very successful, okay? So this is how he sees his divine feminine, as loving, as caring as honest and devoted 
as successful. And success doesn't have to be in a monetary sense. Successful might just mean, you know, with her demeanor, with the way she treats people. The Six of Pentacles comes up now and it's next to the Divine Feminine card and it's also next to the Seven of Cups here in reverse. Okay, so this is Divine Masculine wishing he could give more, wishing and hoping he could give more to Divine Feminine and also wishing that you know, success would hurry up a little bit, that the end of hard times for him would come in on an emotional level, on a fear-based level, um, because he, I'm getting, I'm getting this feeling that he wants to be like, like Superman, you know, you know how like Clark Kent turns into Superman and he you know if you've ever seen Superman he goes into the I think it's the phone box um, or the telephone box and you know gets changed into his Superman gear and just you know comes to the rescue um, to rescue Lois Lane this is what he wants to be for his divine feminine but sometimes the situations around him have stopped him from doing this okay in the past he hasn't been able to come through because he's had his own heartache and sorrow, perhaps even, you know, relationship issues with karmics or soulmates. And remember, karmics can be positive or negative people, but they, they always, you know, help with soul growth. Okay, so these connections that he's had in his own life have been what's stopping him and coming in the way. And they've also come in the way of his own healing. So he's taken the time to try and realign his own thoughts. He's also gone to whoever he believes in and, you know, is doing some sort of spiritual or religious practice, you know, really wishing upon a star, really, you know, hoping and praying that, you know, that God or whoever he believes in is going to bring in his divine feminine because in his essence, in his soul, he feels like a fool. And this is a fool. You know, he's stopping and thinking and saying, you know, I've kind of been a fool. I've kind of only just realized that divine feminine is the star. I've kind of been overthinking and I've had anxiety in so, so many times in the connection. I've even perhaps come across as being depressed or having heartache. You know, I've even felt trapped in my own mind. And then other people and places and situations have stressed me out so much that all I could focus on was my own work, you know, as in going to work in the physical reality, right? And so he kind of, he doesn't feel bad, but he feels... He feels frustrated because he wanted really to be this hero of his own love story and he couldn't be because he was just knackered, really tired, really exhausted, really stressed, you know, for a while, okay? So then recently he's had this transformation, you know, he's understood this is the death card, but it's not associated with death. So for anyone who doesn't know about tarot, don't freak out because it says death here because it's not, it's not related to death. Although I am getting the message from spirit that, you know, the person he connects to in spirit could have passed away. Obviously, if he's connecting in spirit, <laughs> they would have passed away. But, you know, there's someone around him helping him. This is a male energy that's helping him. And... You know, again, it comes up here, a male spirit guide here, trying to bring this together in divinity, trying to make this occur. You know, this could be Archangel Michael. This could be a past loved one, you know, that's a male energy. And they can see the love. So they're helping divine masculine bring it in, even if he's not aware of it. He might not even be aware of this. 
that they're there in the background helping us in. And so now what happens is he gets this energy where he feels like he wants to have this beginning of a new journey with Divine Feminine. You know, perhaps he has to go overseas or at a distance. You know, she's at a distance. This won't resonate for everyone. But he does want a new beginning. He does want to move in the right direction towards this. He has definitely been focused on his own transformation. Again, we've got a transformational card coming up here. He's starting to feel more motivated and energetic. He's starting to not want to have drama with other people because he's realizing that this takes away his energy. Okay, so then we have he's wishing, he's wishing to take the risk. You know, he's kind of going, well, hang on a minute maybe I am Clark Kent and maybe I can get changed into my Superman gear and just actually take a risk because then the Knight of Wands is here saying hey I wish I could whistle maybe Harry's here now maybe Harry can do it let's see <laughs> you know have you ever walked past a building site <laughs> if you're a woman and you get the <laughs> Harry does it so well, doesn't he? Look. <laughs> well done. Thank you, Harry. He's always happy, isn't he? Hang on. Oh, we can't say that. We cannot tell them what Divine Masculine wants to do in the bedroom. No, we cannot say that. No. Okay. <laughs> divine masculine is feeling hot okay that's about as far as i'm going to go with that harry okay he's starting to realize that this could be a love affair of a lifetime and that the only tricks and the only issues here blocking are other people's negative thoughts, other people's BS and sometimes his own blocking the connection, right? So when he lets other people in and he doesn't put his mind in the corner and let his ego go, he's starting to realize that if he doesn't want drama, he can just let it go. He doesn't have to buy into all this deception of other people. He doesn't have to buy into the trickery of, of what other people are doing around him. He's starting to realize that the focus now is the tunnel vision of the twin flame journey. And so the most beautiful thing is now is that he's really wanting to move forward. He's saying, you know what? This deception in my life before from other people, karmic soulmates, family even, is not worth me missing out on the love of a lifetime it is not worth me putting the divine feminine on hold it's not he's literally by the next new moon he should come into you which is the 22nd of may right there's a new moon this is going to bring a lot from now until then, he's going to be thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. He's going to be looking at your social media, you know, any photographs that you may have shared, any messages you may have shared. And he's going to say, you know what? Wow, look at this. I miss her. I love her. She's my fortune. She's my fortune. Don't worry about the money. That's not important. Because if you've got the money and no love, what it's not gonna it's not gonna even <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? What's the most important thing in the world? Love or money, you know. Do you take the love or do you take the money? He wants the love. Wow. That's huge. Okay, so there's been this heartache. This heartache of thinking, you know, the universe isn't gonna bring this in in the past in the past perhaps this third party situation either divine masculine or feminine has had karmics in the way blocking the throat chakra here 
blocking the throat chakra, blocking their ability to speak their truth. And then we have the three of wands. So for some of you, yes, there's definitely a third party situation in the way. But spirit's saying, hey, love will conquer all. No matter what's in the way of the connection, as long as it's done with dignity and respect and love, victory is here. Victory is here. There's no more no talky. There's no more no talky talky. You know, there's no more I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm going to, I'm running away, right? Unless Divine Feminine's running away from herself, then he'll run away. So if Divine Feminine, if you're blocking yourself, as in not loving yourself in some way or you haven't healed something within you then he'll you'll be in separation and vice versa it works both ways okay so now he's for some divine masculines they're still in this hangman energy they're still retreating a little bit in this meditation kind of place spirituality perhaps religion and then they're going you know what she's it She's literally it. Wow. Even, <laughs> he's saying, even if she can get moody at times, she's very caring. She's got a strong constitution. She's a sensible woman. Oh, well, that's good, hey? She could be the mother of my children if I wanted to have children with her. She's kind-hearted and very charitable and she's very cheerful. And you know what? All the other people, places and situations around me have brought me drama, have brought me crap. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. So not only is Divine Feminine showing up as the Queen of Cups, the loving queen, she's also showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, someone he can build a foundation with. Someone he can start a business with, perhaps. It's very beautiful energy. So I'm shuffling the love messages and they're all falling out here. Okay, so this is from, if it's not happening in the, in the physical reality, this is a message from your divine masculine's soul. Please stay in my life. I don't want you to go, Divine Feminine. When I, look in, when I look into your eyes, I know I have found the mirror of my own soul. Yep, they agree. <laughs> Sally and Larry, aren't they gorgeous? Goodness me. They keep eating my food, though without asking it's a little bit rude oh okay where are we up to sorry I got sidetracked <laughs> I'm addicted to the way I feel when I'm thinking about you here we go there's Mr. Sexy Pants remember the other day Divine Masculine I said Divine Masculine might not be wearing any pants Divine Feminine he might be thinking of taking his pants off but only because it's summertime perhaps and he's very hot and for no other reason than your imagination can bring forward. <laughs> My videos are very PG. Oh, I'm thinking about you right now. So here he is, Mr. Sexy Time. I keep myself busy with the things I do, but every time I pause, I still think of you. I've been bleeding in your silence. Some divine feminines are working on themselves and his last very valuable message is I'm afraid of rejection and that's the truth that is the truth that's a confirmation now from spirit he is afraid of rejection so divine feminine be unconditionally loving no matter what <laughs> this is what they want this is what divine masculine wants. This is what they think about often. They want you to kiss them. And then we get a yes. Okay. Divine feminine. Whoever you're thinking about will call you soon. Whether this is divine masculine or someone else. For a business decision. 
divine feminine this is message for you you need to think on it a bit more before you start it up here we go someone in heaven says hi this is for both divine feminine and masculine someone in heaven is saying hi one of your past loved ones or someone you know in spirit is saying hello all right <laughs> if you feel guided to contact your twin flame here's your confirmation some of you need to do deep belly breathing exercises if you're suffering from any type of anxiety or you're not getting enough fresh air go out into nature and breathe in through the root chakra and out through the heart chakra for a quick count of five in and out for five and do that for five minutes day and night it'll really help you this is for divine feminine love your body okay we only get one body in this lifetime divine feminine you love them huh yes you do divine masculine to feminine I love you even if they're not saying it in in the physical reality in spirit they say I love you who needs to do some washing laundry we say washing in Australia but someone needs to do some laundry divine feminine and masculine keep going you're doing fine message from spirit hug whoever you are with whoever you're with right now despite whether they're your twin flame or not hug them they need a hug okay for some of you you need to work on your solar plexus and get your power back you can wear yellow or or eat uh, yellow foods like lemon or bananas or squash divine feminine hug yourself please hug yourself okay now I've got a message being channeled from the divine masculine collective for whoever's listening okay if you think about this is what the divine masculine is saying to me now if you think about me divine feminine for seven days close your eyes and think of me for seven days you know make a time each day or whenever you can close your eyes and think of me I will come into your dreams and you will see me in your dreams and for some of you this is a confirmation that you are seeing your divine masculine in your dreams and to look out for them there because they they are trying to come in okay wow and Larry saying this is exactly how he manifested Sally yeah <laughs> wouldn't it have been funny if Harry got with Sally then it would have been when Harry met Sally you know that movie when Harry met Sally <laughs> where she has the orgasm under the table remember that's a great movie if you haven't seen that if you're not as old as me you may not have seen that it's called when Harry met Sally it's a really funny movie <laughs> so Harry didn't meet Sally Larry met Sally so this is a little bit different we're doing a different take when Larry met Sally <laughs> okay so today the synchronicities are birds a lot of birds a lot of birds um, you know divine masculine will be coming in with messages soon he's thinking about you divine feminine this won't resonate for everyone of course take what resonates and leave the rest we have angels around angels abound lots of angels coming in to help your connection remember that angels cannot help you unless you ask them okay they need your permission so if you feel guided to you know pray to angels or talk to angels just you know 
speak to the angel that you wish to talk to so you know if it's archangel michael you could say archangel michael please help me with or archangel gabrielle please help me with okay and state your intention so you just have to say you know that you give permission for them to help you on your journey okay all righty so we're going to get one last quick message from divine masculine what does he want to say to you we've got the secrets what does he actually want to say wow okay i won't hold the cards up i'll just read them he says i'm moving in the right direction now i can see that there's new beginnings here and that this is kind of the beginning of a new journey for us you know i want to come to you now I've been in love with you for a very long time. <laughs> wow. And for some of them, <clears throat> wow, in telepathically or in spirit or in the 5D, however you'd like to put it, in the ethereal realm, they're saying we're already married. We're already in union. Even, even after we're not here anymore we will always be a part of one another i'm working hard i'm working hard to not be stressed to not feel trapped in my own thoughts to not overthink because i want to be a fool for love i want to take a step towards you and i love you wow so what I might actually call this, I think I'll call it Secrets of Divine Masculine. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I'm really feeling them coming through in this very loving energy. And they're just saying, you know, to kind of just hang on, just hang on. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting all my ducks in a row. For some reason, they're saying my ducks in a row. I'm getting my ducks in a row. For some of you, you know, the word duck will resonate for you. Other signs and synchronicities coming up are swans. We're also getting the numbers 444, 111, 717, 333, 303, 1111 of course. Um, also important is clouds. You know, look at the clouds in the sky. You know, are they making any particular shapes? You know, are you getting a sign from that? You know, is there anything coming on the TV or on the radio that resonates for you? These are signs and synchronicities that are coming through for the Twin Flame journey right now. Okay. Some of you need to eat more vegetables. That was a smack from me. <laughs> Some of you need to drink more water. And some of you need to get out in nature more. You're, you're inside too much. Okay, so don't spray yourself with too many chemicals. Go outside and touch the dirt and touch the trees and, you know, I don't know. Let the squirrel jump on your shoulder and, and hug you. <laughs> if you live somewhere where there's squirrels, that's a joke, of course. All right, anyway, I better go. I've been too long. I always do this. I always talk and talk and talk. Harry says goodbye and he's in a fun mood. He's great. He's great. He hasn't been eating tacos. He got a sore tummy. He had too many. So he stopped that. Larry and Sally are just madly in love with one another. So we're going to, you know, I put a lock on their door, I think, so they can have some time together. <laughs> And I love you all so very much. If you need to reach out to me for a reading or an ascension package or a general spread or a soulmate reading or a general life spread or anything to do with life in general, <laughs> my details are in the description box below. I'm sending you love, light and peace from Australia. 
and I hope you have a great day, night, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I'm sending you much love and angel blessings for a wonderful day. Bye everyone. Bye.